welcome to the Fat and Unfiltered Podcast. We fill your bellies up and leave you with some juice. Well, welcome back, back, baby loves. loves. Welcome back. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you are updated when we update you. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am Deshaun. Talk today. And I am Savia, Miss Kitty. Hi. And we in this thing. Yes, we are truly in this thing. I'm half asleep today, so you know what? If you see this eye cock back a little bit, a lean forward, hey, don't, don't blame me. <laughs> but since we got her on up and about to have a little feast, what are we doing today? Y'all, we are in Athens, Texas, Bombs. Bombs burgers are the most slept on burgers yeah. today. I agree. We love Bombs burgers. And the fact that I came to Athens. She did. Do you know this is yes. the first time actually in Athens? I just passed the TVCC sign, like from Dallas here, but I've not actually You've never been actually in been. Athens. Oh, you know, so, I'm going to have to take a, a, we'll take a ride a little bit. I think I'll have to come down yeah. here and hang on out. You know, it ain't much to hang out at, but we got a little razzle dazzle on that thing. Well, Browns must be the it spot because it is off the chain up in here. And it really, like, Browns stays packed like this. I can't. And not lie. And normally the food is on point. The shakes are good. Depending on who make them. I ain't gonna lie to you now, baby. Um, but normally everything here is pretty good, so I'm excited. I am too, and I'm ready for this because you know I'm hungry. Yeah, okay. So, let's get into it. It's my turn. Yes, it is. Hey, by your head, baby love. God, thank you for this day for blessing the hands that prepared this meal for us nourishment to our bodies, God. Thank you for blessing us to drive safely to our destination and keep all of our baby love safe and keep blessing the subscribers to come in the abundance and the overflow. Amen. Amen. Yes, 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 y'all. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why it's still hot and off the press. I yes. got me a duh. No, I'm about to tell a story. I'm so Sound used to being though. greedy. That I used to get doubles, but I got me a quarter pound of cheese with a little bit of bacon and extra mayo. And I got me a quarter pounder too with extra pickles, no tomato. You know, it ain't camera pretty, but I bet it's going to taste camera good. Uh, them be the best one. And we got and shade. I got a little one with bacon. And I got a thin milkshake. I hope they got this shit right. Because I hate a thick shake. Oh, and she liked thick shakes. What do y'all like? Because who wants a thin shade? Mm. What is the point? I guess, you know, it's the point. Some people actually drink them with Yeah, them. I drink them. Do y'all dip your fries? Because I'm about to dip my fry in this. Wow. You've never done that? Yeah. We're here, sis. Be the first to do it with me. Dip your fry in there, girl. Dip it. Dip it. Look, look. Dip it. It's a weird, it's, I don't know. Look. You got some sweet ones. You really do them. She coated that whole fry. <laughs> and she enjoyed it. I did. That ice cream is you so You really cool. sit there and fry some ice cream? And I learned that from Wendy's Frosties. You do it with Wendy's Frosties? Because Wendy's Frosties are bomb. Wendy's Frosties are, they slept on. They That's why are. when they took them to 99 cents, it was like, wow, them things should be just <laughs> we need to be. We need to do a Wendy's. Girl, do you know I've never had nothing from Wendy's butter frosties and a baconator? And somebody <laughs> told me that I need to try their nuggets because their oh. nuggets are out of the chain. The spicy nuggets. Oh, my God. Taking the glory. Mm. Oh, here, baby loves. Y'all get the first bite. Oh, damn. It's okay. Here you go. I got you. I'm, I'm I, it's okay. <laughs> At this point, I don't know why I'm about to buy it. got the second one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I was right on time. Mm -hmm. That bacon is... It looks crispy. I love my bacon crispy. I had Brahms in forever. A Brahms burger? Mm -hmm. I have... I, have. I come get their mouth all the time. Oh, do you? Yes, they have the best ice cream. Yeah, we had it forever. And that's another thing. I sure ain't had the ice cream in forever. You have? I don't know. Well, we got it today, baby. 
So how y'all day been? Hope it's been good. How about you, say? It's been good, sis. I've been up since the crack of dawn. Yes, did a little dribblers game. Oh. Shout out to all the little Athens uh -huh. dribblers. Uh -huh. I love watching Them the kids, kids play. She's so ready to be out there. Uh -huh. How about on hers? Yeah. I am, guys. I am like I cannot wait to be a mommy. I can't. I love watching those little kids. The little kids with like little miniature versions of their parents. I'm for it. Look, they kind of like. Man. No, that is. I know why that's so special. <laughs> it is. I so want that to happen for you. I truly really do. Well, today oh. I got to meet my little uh, fake daughter. We filming for Love and Drugs, so my little daughter, that's my daughter on the show. The picture I see, do she, they cast her based off of trying to kind of somewhat look like me. Did you not kind of see some, when she walked up and then she was like, are you my mommy? Uh, girl. Pull uh, at your little heart strings. That little girl, I can tell, she pulling that thumb. She got the acting. You know what? She got the look, 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 they trying to like, uh -uh. <laughs> gonna be good for the show. <laughs> Y'all, they sure do not play. Talk to Diane, period. She's not happy. But they are so adorable. And that is sweet. Being little miniatures of your pants. Uh -huh. Y'all, this is so good. So, how do you know when it's thick enough for you? Because they, mm -hmm. like, to me, that's too thick. Like, when you clear. can't. You can. You have to like take a minute to get it up through the stride. You know you got to use all your muscles in your upper torso and suck it. You know, hey, that's how. So why are you want it like? Why don't you just eat get, it with a spoon? Or just get ice cream? I don't know, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know because that's what everybody says. Like, why don't you just get some ice cream? Because the malt in it, the malt be hidden. It do. I love the malt taste. Of it. This is right on time. It was. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm not disappointed. Because <laughs> when we say this, the only thing I don't like is every Brahms I have been to, I don't know who their mayo vendor is, but the mayo is always super sweet. It is well, so sweet, and I do. I, I don't thought, get it. I thought maybe because I drank that shake with it, but you're mm -hmm. right. It, it is. is it's the mayo. The mayo is very. I sweet. wonder if they use Miracle Whip. Because I love Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is sweet. And you know what? As a kid, I grew up loving Miracle Whip, and now I can't stand the taste of it. It's, it's awful to me, and that's all my mama would buy because I wouldn't eat it. Mm. Now nah, we were trying to get any advice, but I do have a question for this day. This it's a good one. <laughs> she's dancing, y'all. She happy. Shirt coming up for the show though, cause she dancing. Huh? She happy. Good. She give me y'all some film. <laughs> Feel like I normally don't. Got that little shoulder. She got her little shoulder. Shoulder Yeah. We do not have copyrights this song. I said that because in my head I'm like, I'm gonna dance this mode this song. Because I took it back a little bit. I don't know everything. I'm kind of like a walking jukebox. That gave me an idea for a show. <laughs> so she said she a walking jukebox. I don't know. I see him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess it's some stuff. Yeah. Hold on. We just gonna put in the video scrolling down to the bottom. We do not own the copy yeah. copyright. That'll probably be the only way that'll work. What's your question? Uh, what, what you got to talk about? <laughs> Had to clear my, my throat chakra. Okay, sis, so. I seen this in this natural hair dude. This natural hair dude on Facebook, girl. When I tell you, okay. Oh, come on. It be popping. It be popping. I think it's being a natural hair girl. Oh. Look, look at God. Rock coming to natural house? Exactly. You that rock natural? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, then re added me to it. I don't know why she's you the natural hair girl. Look, and I'm the wig wearer. <laughs> but sis, this woman said she had been married for 10 plus years. And she found in her home 
three birth certificates that her husband had been keeping from her. So he had not one, not two, but he had three whole kids on her through the duration of their marriage, Aww. and she found out through the birth certificates. Would you stay or would you leave? Three whole kids, y'all. And she ran up on the birth certificates. That was like clutch my visible pearls off. Ten years, y'all. I was like, I had to ask talk today, honey, because that filled my cup up and it won it over. And see, my thing is that's one of those ones because the people be quick to be like, you don't know how you will handle it unless you was in that situation. I'm leaving. I, I, I'm leaving and my thing is, is I know me and you done been hiding some kids we don't even know how old they are so that's a whole other thing but I just know the kids are innocent and I'll never be able to look at them kids and treat them kids the way them kids deserve to be treated because I'll be looking at y'all dog ass daddy oh, who did this who with your dog daddy <laughs> I would have to, I would, I would have to go, like, if that, that kind of hurt, that would have broke me all the way down. I couldn't even have imagined. I, to be married to somebody, and she, now, what I kind of left out is she, they didn't have any kids together. Oh. So it leads me to believe there was probably more to the story that she didn't put in there, but they didn't have any kids between them amongst the 10 years they had been together. Well... No, it still ain't no well because you took vows. Ain't no well. You don't get out the but maybe, But maybe they had something. Maybe, was she, did she say she was hurt? Or did she just the fact that she, was, well, she ran up on some birth certificate? Like maybe if he would have told her that, hey. So you thinking that man had like an agreement or something? Oh, no, you know. 10 years. <laughs> 10 years yeah. and no kids. It's like if I can't have them, then and if you want them, I feel like we would have tried to adopt or... You know what I'm saying? Something or can I not carry him? So did we need a surrogate? Like, did I say, hey, I, I know people probably like, no, nah, no, nah, talk today. You trying to make some sense of it. And I'll leave. Look, yeah. Because really, even if you stay, so if you made that decision to stay and maybe y'all had talked, maybe y'all didn't want kids. In my head, I'm thinking since she posted it, maybe they had an agreement. Maybe that neither one of them wanted kids. And she ran up on some hidden birth certificates. So, obviously, maybe, if we're just hypothetically speaking, maybe he wanted kids, and so he was hiding the fact. Or maybe it really was an oops, because we know, man, hey, I'm just stuff happened. Yeah. But three times? And I wonder if, see, I got a question. Look, look, look. I'm wondering if they all about the same woman. Mm. Did the woman, did the women know he was married? Why the hell he got the birth certificate? He carrying them on that insurance, like, like he is clearly present. You know what I'm saying? To have the birth certificate, mm -hmm. birth certificate. I don't know no man. Uh, Unless you a single father who got those birth certificates. Cause we are all going to mama for them birth certificates. Okay, and mama fussing at you. What you want the birth certificate for? Mm -hmm. Cause I'm grown, first of all, and cause it's a mine. And don't want to be. Your birth certificate. Why y'all don't want to give us our birth certificate? Or your social security card. But it, my name is on it. <laughs> they don't be coming up off their birth certificates. That's what they really don't be. And be a whole argument about it. What you want it for? Mm -hmm. Well, bring it back. Well, you know what? I will. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm really wondering that because I went through that same thing about getting the birth certificate. Make Let sure you bring, bring that back. Is that just black mama? <laughs> Look, I almost want to ask them, do y'all keep y'all kids' birth certificates hostage too? <laughs> Maybe they know they're the responsible one. Yeah. And we lose mm -hmm. them. That, you know, hey, mm -hmm. I feel like though, we're in our 30s though. Yeah, they we might want to release that. Do y'all want to have your birth certificate? Yeah. 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 My mama still got mine. And she got my, my extra social security card. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that say, Close 40 and they put their parents do a lot, they still got their birth certificate. They got to be a black people. It, it has got to be. be. But I think too, that's that power of being a parent. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I think your kids don't never grow up to you, no matter what age they get. They still brought you into this world, so they're gonna always take care of you. That's gonna all, always be baby. Yes, yeah, so maybe that's that one of the things. I want you to come to me to ask me for your birthday. So I know we done went all around the way, so that's back to we know he present in his kid's life if he got the birthday. Yeah, we got what questions. would you do? Would you stop? Oh. Oh, that's a deal breaker. Yeah, outside kids is a deal breaker. You had not one, so you didn't res you didn't disrespect me. It wasn't no messed up move or a drunken night and something happened one time. To me, it just seemed like you probably been doing it. To have three kids, three whole kids, like you can have a half one. <laughs> but it's really sad and unfortunate because you're able to look your wife in her face for however many, because we don't know how old the kids are, but you still look her in her face with this lie. Like, like you're not giving her your full honest truth of who you are. I could, to me, that deceit, that would hurt me as a person to know that I got something like that, and I'm looking you in your eyes every day to tell you I love and you. That me, like, and that's me. Like, that says so much about your character to be able to look in somebody's face that you took vows with and just disrespect them daily. Because for 10 years, he disrespected her every day that he got up and he didn't tell her he had three whole children that he is taking care of, that money is coming from their household and going to other households. You no, know, I wonder how old they are because what if this is one of them situations? Triple That's three years. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. but does that change? It doesn't, but I'm just saying, he didn't fuck up three times. Oh, he only fucked he up once. once. This so this is another question. To our top people in relationships and marriage and stuff, do you leave on the first occurrence? Throw that out there to y'all too. On the end, like, do you leave after one of these? Or... I guess, let's say marry because I feel like the relationship, when you're in a relationship, like, that's the singing time. Yeah. Now, once you done got married, that's kind of like, that's a contract. So, let us know, baby loves. How do y'all feel about this topic? Because then I feel like I see our wheels turning in our head and we, we got questions. We thinking. But that's definitely a no-go for me. <laughs> not a, that's how my damn first uh, relationship, my little high school sweetheart, even though we weren't married, Shout out to you. We're still friends. That's how he lost me. And he, he had lied. A he had a baby on me. When I was in college, and he would lie. He lied and lied until he could lie to oh, me. Honey. And to this girl, damn near water breaking and busting and lied, lied. And then finally told me. And I, and so I couldn't. I could not see as the fact that it's a child here. And, and it was made. Well, you were with me. We were supposed to have your kids. If anybody was going to have them, I feel like it's, a, it. it's a respect thing. Mm -hmm. Like, do you respect me enough to come to me and tell me that you fucked up? I wish that would have had happened. I yeah, wish that could have told me, but people don't understand how that extra step goes so far. Like, if you love me how you say you do, it is. And if you respect me, like, respect me enough to be like, hey, this is about to happen. This is about to come to the forefront for yeah. you. And I just, I respect you and I love you enough to tell you that I, I, I fucked up. I fucked up because at the end of the day, the child is coming. And we all mess up. Yeah. I feel like no sin is bigger than the next. So, hey, come on out with it, men and women. Stop lying. Mm -hmm. That Maybe that needs to be in the title. No lie 2020. You hear me? But yeah, y'all need to let him. Y'all thoughts in the comments to let us know. But this is the spot. We have enjoyed Brahms today, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm like, gonna enjoy the rest of this. Okay. And it's gonna be a night. Like we usually say, we just came here to eat on the short. We did. We just had a little topic, a little razzle dazzle, because I'm gonna just go hit the spot. I did too, and I needed it. Roll it back. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. <laughs> and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you are updated when we update you. So on that note, we out. We out. Peace.